Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. My name's Aaron and in this video, I'm gonna show you my two month results training the Edo Portal method over the last two months under the guidance of my coach, Jackson Lenan. So without further ado, I'm gonna get into my results training four elements, the handstand, the gymnastic rings, the stall depress, and also some locomotion floor patterns, which were my focus in phase one over the last two months of my training. So let's take a look. Okay, so let's take a look at my handstand. So when I started this phase, I could do a 30 second something handstand. By the end of this phase, I increased that to 62 seconds. So in my best effort, I doubled my freestanding handstand time. So I did that with a couple of progressions. I used a lot of time on the wall. I did nose to wall drills. I did baby tuck drills. I did knee tuck slide drills all on the wall. And of course I did a lot of freestanding handstanding efforts. So I think uh, the main thing that helped me a lot was really just trying to improve my uh, endurance on the wall for one, but also a bit more opening the line. So, um, and I was doing that three times a week. I'll put the full workout below in the description. Okay, so next we have the stall depress. So I mainly trained the stall depress negatives and my goal was to try and get the elevation as low as I could by the end of the two months. I knew it was a big ask to try and be able to do the whole thing. Um, I knew that was probably gonna be impossible, but training it twice a week, I made significant progress. And by the end, I was able to take away the bricks uh, or any elevation and from the floor, I could do the negative element and just slide my feet through in socks on the, on the timber floor and find that final position. So that was pretty big progress for me, even though this one of everything I trained, I really didn't feel like I was getting anywhere. But now looking back, I can see I did. Um, I used uh, a lot of compression drills for this one. I've covered these in a previous video, link in the description below. But I'm um, fairly happy with these results overall. Okay, so the gymnastic rings. I was using plastic rings the whole time. I learned very quickly that they are very slippery and not ideal. Due to the virus stuff going on, I couldn't get my hands on a set of timber ones, so I strapped them up with some tape, which helped a lot. Uh, my endurance improved massively doing these, and of everything I did, um, this was my bent arm strength I was doing twice a week. I got mad doms from it, um, really sore all the time, but my strength increased a lot. Um, I had to do singles when I started, but by the end, I could do the complete sets um, unbroken, um, as prescribed by my coach. So I definitely got a lot stronger with these. Uh, my shoulder stands, I really struggled with them at, at the start, but by the end, I could really find that line and have control all the way through the movement. So uh, for the upper body, the gymnastic rings is the ultimate tool. Um, yeah, very happy with the results here. Locomotion, okay, so these were probably the biggest hit to the ego because previously I've been trying more advanced moves, but my problem was I couldn't sort of connect everything and create the flow, so I had to regress right back and the skills given to me felt, they looked very basic, but when I tried them, I realized um, it was gonna take some time to get the hang of the timing and the flow, so um, I was doing some L-sit rotationals, some Cossack step throughs, some step behinds, very, very basic stuff. Um, and it was a little frustrating at first because I didn't feel like it was very sexy. But by the end, I was really starting to feel how it all flows together and the timing and that chi energy that, that runs through it. So I think it was well worth my time um, the last two months just doing real basic stuff, trying to 
um, mix it up and innovate with different combos and I think this is the most enjoyable part of the last two months even though it started off as the most frustrating so I'm really happy with how that went and um, it's super fun I really like the the flow of it and um, all the different ranges of motion and it's the most creative part of the practice even though I was very um, diligent um, doing it three times a week um, I found there was more room for creativity and expression so I'm really looking forward to uh, continuing with that practice and I'm really happy with how I improved I think I went from being very jerky and isolated with each movement to starting to combine and flow these things together so that just takes time and practice and really you just need to do rep after rep and repetition after repetition so the the next step will be to learn some more moves add some new skills in there and then to um, be able to sort of start to innovate and um, and improvise which is a bit further down the track for me but I Okay, so that's it for the two month report. So we've covered handstands, gymnastic rings, the stall to press and locomotion. So I'm just gearing up for another phase with my coach Jackson Lanan. And in the meantime, I've got a couple of weeks to just rest, play, get a bit creative, get a bit playful. I think um, when you're going hard with a prescribed uh, two month phase, it does become a bit mechanical. Um, you do get a bit sick of it. It's very repetitive and you're on the wall a lot and it feels beneath your pay grade, if you will, but um, that's how you get better. You've just got to spend the time upside down on the wall um, doing your reps, rep after rep. That's how you get better. So I'm really looking forward to the next couple of weeks of just not having any structure, just being a bit playful with things, keeping up my strength and my mobility goals. And uh, yeah, I really look forward to jumping into phase two, another two months and diving in even deeper, improving these movement patterns and playing with some more. So stick around guys. If you like this video, please give me a like, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you later.